G'day and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. I have for you guys an Easter themed video. It is a bit of a craft tutorial if you like and this video is about your spare drills. Now I have spare drills here just loose in the bowl that I think would be really cool for this project and I also have all my other little ones in their little containers ready nearby just in case I'm looking for something in a different color. So I have just got my spare drills just in baggies and so that they're all individually little bits and pieces in here and I color code them basically uh, to the little containers they're in. So if I'm looking for some sort of orangey red colors they will be in these tubs as such and they just slide into their little home over there or I might be looking for some green so I know they'll be in these ones. So that's about my spare drills just briefly. So I'm going to be using some of our spare drills and I would like to decorate some of these little plastic eggs you can get. Now I did order, so you can sort of see in the shot there these guys, I'll show you to you properly in a moment. Um, I did order a pack of 10 or 12 or whatever it is off eBay but they have still not arrived. So I was actually in my local K hub and I found this and it is a little easter egg hunt kit and it has little signs and stakes and bunny footprints and all the other cool things i thought were really cute and it's only four bucks so i went you know what i'm grabbing that so i can actually do this idea because i've been waiting to do it for ages and i'm still waiting for my little plastic eggs and easter is getting closer and closer and of course time's running out so i want to go do this project for easter but I also wanted to do it as a little video tutorial to show you guys the idea. So I have these little plastic little eggs that split in half. You know, you've probably seen them around in little craft stores and places. But as I said, I got this from Kmart. So um, you can go there and it's literally four bucks. So, and it gives me eight plastic eggs to work with and get the idea out there. So... Um, these little eggs are the thing I'm going to take out of this particular kit and decorate but there's lots of other things in here that I think we might be able to do as well so we'll see how we go along the video. So I will open that up and go through it a little bit more shortly. So just introducing um, our materials basically for this project. So I have the little eggs, I have my drills which I want to place on them. I'm also going to be using, hopefully, well, I'll go to the adhesives, but I should be going to the pieces first. I have these two adhesives. I'm going to try out and see which one works. Just the Alma's basic glue. is a glitter glue. I don't think it's going to matter for something like this, but if you want to use a clear one, absolutely. This is just what I had on hand. I use this for sealing my diamond paintings. And, um, yeah, it's really nice glossy finish. And it does say here that you can be used as an adhesive for lightweight objects. So I figure our drills are a lightweight object. So I'm going to give these two a go and see which one works best or any difference, etc. Um, being soft plastics, I won't be using like a hot glue gun or something like that because I would melt my plastic. So those are the two adhesive type things I'm going to try for this project. And I'm going to be decorating these eggs with those drills and applying an, the adhesive of these two adhesives on there to decorate and we'll go through that together in a bit of a speed up overlay little things shortly the other thing i have on the table is good old-fashioned dunny rolls um, i'm doing this as a cheap as possible type project so i'm going to use just your toilet paper rolls good old dunny rolls is a very handy craft um, material i think for lots and lots of projects if you don't like this or you want something a bit fancier you could probably use like your little napkin rings for this part of the project. I also have in the side here, because not enough room to put it all in one shot, this is one of my tubs of wool and I'll be using also a few different types of wool for this project as well. So that is pretty much um, the materials I think that I'm going to use throughout this video and um, yeah, we'll get cracking on the actual making of the project. So I will open this one now. 
can have a better look at everything and I do need the eggs out anyway that's the back look at that it's all nicely set out too it shows you everything you need like your little bags and everything little signs egg hunt this way nearly there getting closer over here so it's a really fun little um, kit really for the kids to do a little Easter egg hunt for four bucks can't believe that unreal so we will play around even though my kids are getting a bit older probably with the rest of this anyway because it's fun oh golly that's loud okay so out they all come I'm gonna take everything out I don't care Look, sticking through the bag. Oh my lord. Voila. I tell you what, I like making a mess, obviously. That's what I do. Alright, so these are the little egg things I'm really after. Just to sort of show you guys. Ah, there we go. We clipped it together. And you can put little prizes in here or treats or, I don't know, small, some sort of small special gift anyway. Whether it's lollies or whatever you like really couldn't you have a little ring in there for pose oh um and no we won't do that but you could do something for that for the kids to have a bit of fun or geez i don't know my mind's just racing at the moment you know little clues something like that and make a bit of a game with them but we are decorating these today so this is what we're doing <laughs> because my lighting is terrible what else is in here? Oh my goodness, these are the stakes. Wow, okay. And they've got an adhesive thing on there. Okay, so they're double sided. You stick them up, stick them together. Right, there's lots of stuff in here. I'm just going to just get it all out of the way because we don't really need this part. Some little bags, things. Hmm, there's four of those. They're quite, they're quite good. You can use them for something, surely. We might even decorate these. We will see how we go. So they're kind of cute little bags. And you could definitely glue some drills on those and make them really special little gift and put some eggs in that for people. That's kind of cool. Comes with some stickers. I'll put some stickers on my table. Easter. I guess they're the signs to go on the sticks. Egg hunt this way. <laughs> I actually quite like this little kit. Oh, I got a little poke. Poke me in the ground. Little decorations. <laughs> That's the rest of the signs. A lot in here. Oh, and look, footprints. <laughs> I know it's just these little Easter cardboard cut out things, but they're kind of cool. Oh, look, all different colours too. Look at that. You could play a little game or something. Oh, I don't know. There's got to be something you can do with those. Just other than just a cool Easter egg hunt, I think. There's a lot in that pack for four bucks. I tell you. Anyway. Out of that, I have got my little egos. That's what I want. I want my dunny rolls and so forth. So this is what we're going to have out of the kit. That's what we're working with. All right, let's start the show. Okay guys, this is just some of the tools that I found that I used in this project. Um, I had a little bit of fine sandpaper. This is really optional. I just used it to scuff up some of the areas that I felt needed a little bit more help being grippy with the glues that I used. Um, I end up using, this is just an ice cream lid. I just use it as a bit of a tray to help put some of the glues down as you can see. And I used a paintbrush. It doesn't matter which size or anything. It was just to help um, applicate the glues around and smooth them out to where I wanted them. Some scissors just to cut those um, tubes, etc. I had dime painting trays. I had a small one to pour things away, but I also had the really big fella, which is here. But it doesn't really matter what size tray you use. You can use whatever you have. 
and I used a hot glue gun to apply the materials onto the little stands. Again, I find that easiest. You could use other methods, I'm sure, but yeah, I found that one the easiest way because it's got that instant attachment thing going on. All right, so I just want to pop those in there. These are some of the other tools and things that I was using throughout the video. And yeah, I thought like if I just pop these guys in here, you'll see what I mean as I'm going through the different um, stages of the project. That's what I am talking about. Alrighty, I'm going to be a little bit here and there everywhere, but I'm going to show you guys how to put this all together and we're going to have a cool project at the end. So the next thing I've done is I've just picked three of the eggs, three different colors to sort of see how they go. And I've been looking at some of the spare drills I had and some are in little baggies. So I'm just looking at some of these like really nice orange colors maybe for that one. Maybe some purple around the yellow base of the egg because I'm trying to color, you know, to make them nice and bright. Um, I've got a pink egg there so that may have um, some blue, some silvers. I'm not really sure. And then some lovely, I found some of these nice really pink marquees. I thought they might look real pretty on them. See how they go. And so I'm going to use some of the small rhinestones and some of the feature type drills. Uh, like the marquees etc that you might have from your kits and some rounds and give it a really cool looking easter egg design. I've also bought out the tip bins. This is all the rhinestones that I've mixed and dump. So these are my dump bins basically from other dumb paintings when I've just dumped the rhinestones and these are just your regular drills in here as well. So I'm thinking these might come in handy for this project as well. So I'm using those. So they are my leftover drills and this is sort of the focus of the diamond painting part is what to do with leftover drills and this is a little Easter project I thought would be kind of fun and I'm going to give it a go. So the other tools basically is where we're coming into now is that we've got our materials and I'm looking at tools. I decided to use one of my big trays because I'm probably going to just dump a lot of colours and just sort through them. You can just use small trays, ones with spouts, whatever suits you or what you've got at home. This is trying to keep um, costs down and you know use up what materials we have around the house. I don't want this to be an expensive type idea. I just want it to just be a bit of fun. Um, something you can do yourself. Maybe, you know, you can join your kids, grandkids or something involved in it as well. So just trying to keep it really simple and really affordable for everybody to enjoy. Okay, so the other thing is I'm just going to use one of those really basic plastic um, pens because if I get glue on it and that, I don't want to get on my good diamond painting pens. We usually have a few of those lying around so we can use those. I also bought some tweezers across because I might need to really just adjust where I want the drill to sit on the egg so I thought they would be handy and I think that should be enough and I'll be able to apply the glue. Now you could also have a paintbrush, a small paintbrush if you want just to you know applicate the glue that way it's really up to you. So what we're going to do next is start looking at putting this all together and just making a design for our eggs and going from there. So next bit will be me just working on the eggs and I'll be talking you through some of the pros, cons and things I found on the way of this project. So firstly here I am just looking at some of the drills, what would look nice with the colour of my eggs, which way I might go about um, what drills I'm going to use on my project. So I've got a good selection here and you just pick whatever you like and you are happy with. So once you've picked out a few drills you actually are happy with to put on your egg, I just pop them straight in the tray just so they were easy to get. And I'm using this glossy essence that I like using for sealing my dome paintings. It's a really nice finish. So I'm going to give this one a go and just applying some onto the egg. And then I'm just going to pick up my drills and pop them straight onto the egg as such. So while I'm doing this, I had noticed that um, the little blobs of glue that weren't drying as quick as possible so the little drills would move around. So I had to keep readjusting for a little bit there and I kept on sliding. 
so I sort of set, set it to the side and let it dry and I still wasn't getting anywhere for the moment so while it was drying I thought I'd give it a little bit of a go at this Alma glue so I tried that as a bit more of an experiment basically I was doing at the moment with what adhesives would work and what wouldn't work on the plastic so I'm just putting a couple little blobs of this Alma glue and I gave that a bit of a go unfortunately that one wasn't much better it would slide a lot um, it wouldn't really grip the drills and yeah I even after a bit of uh, time just fidgeting around trying to get them sit I'm trying to get them to just have a thin amount of glue so it wasn't too much underneath and all different sort of things uh, and even just a good drying time I actually let these guys sit and dry for quite a long time and yeah the alma glue with the plastic and the drills just wasn't applying so um, as much as I tried different things <laughs> with the alma glue unfortunately it was a bust and yeah it wasn't something I could continue working on so I let this dry for quite a lengthy period of time this little circle here of drills which are looking kind of cool and even after a good dry period I could easily pull off um, and push off the drills and whatnot on the armor glue but the other side where I had this one the glossy essence it was great and it stuck so I cleaned off the egg and just continued with the design that I was going with um, using these drills and the glossy essence again so I just continued on to apply the, with the glossy essence unfortunately the nozzle would sometimes get blocked and I'd have to clear it out with either my tweezers or a pin but other than that it was really uh, a very easy adhesive to work with using the tweezers I found this was a good way of applying and fixing where I wanted the drills onto the little eggs and it was able to be adjusted and placed where I wanted them and you could just sort of fidget around with your design that way so that was also helpful having the tweezers and being able to put things where I want them yeah and I just continued on with a little bit of design and you can do whatever uh, you are thinking or like as far as that's concerned if you want to uh, do a few little sketch designs or you know look on the internet there and just get some of the basic sort of general type Easter egg designs and you could get that for inspiration as well so whatever way you design your eggs or you just want to do it just like I did and so I just went from something I had in my mind you can do that as well and yeah I just applying all the little drills that I picked out onto the egg so I continue this on with this egg and uh, I get a little bit of nice design using a lot of the large special drills out of my spares that I have from my diamond painting so yeah some really nice ideas you can come up with lots and lots of different drills depending what you've got and you can just be as creative as you like and put as many or as little of these drills on as you wish I really like these marquees I think they're really pretty and I wanted to try and do like a zigzag pattern like to give that sort of line and using them so that's what I was attempting here it kind of worked um, I'm not sure but it sort of looks pretty cool with those big round domes they sort of work together and I was originally thinking in between hand to put a fine line of rhinestones in between these two large drills but in the end I sort of just kept it nice and simple with just the big drills just to sort of keep I don't know just a different style pattern to the egg so I wanted them all to be a little bit different and unique in, that, in their design and style so that was something I wanted to have a lot of different patterns and I was trying to um, do that with this one is just give it a nice real Easter egg classic sort of dots and zigzaggy lines and stuff pattern that you'd find painted on Easter eggs uh, I'm not sure how this would go as a painted base but I think it would also work if you want to do that you could do uh, with real Easter eggs oh, sorry real eggs and paint them the old-fashioned way 
if you're into that. Or, yeah, as I said, I'm just using these plastic base ones. Because I've got a nice bright colour, you've already got sort of your base colour there, and now I'm working around that. For my second egg, I decided to try another technique and see how this one goes. And using a very light bit of sandpaper, just a very, very fine one, I sort of just just buffed up the plastic. Now I was avoiding putting any large scratches on it or anything, just enough just to rough the surface. And I thought I'd give a go of this PVA glue that I have, and you may also have in your craft rooms, and see how that goes in adhesive. Uh, with the Alma glue not being workable and just using the Glossy Essence, which a lot of people wouldn't have in their homes, I want to try and do this as something you can just, as a project I should say, that you can just use what you've got on hand. So I'm going to give this a go and um, just using some of the mixed regular drills. These are just the usual standard acrylics you get in pretty much all your diamond paintings. So you should have some of these ones spare. So after roughing up the plastic just a little bit, uh, applying some PVA, I've now just put in the drills into the tray as you would normally work through on a diamond painting and using one of these disposable sort of type, you know, pens I suppose, not your really good ones if you have those, but one of the ones you would get off a spare kit you'd have maybe spare would be prefer preferable. And um, I was using that to just uh, apply the drills in the same way you do your diamond painting onto the PVA glue that is applied to the plastic egg. And I'm doing a full coverage. I like those sprinkle eggs that you see in the supermarkets. I thought this would be a kind of a cool idea um, using the drills to get something that replicates that. So yeah, that was my general idea for this egg. Just to look like one of those hundreds and thousand eggs you get um, at Easter time. So I put on a fairly decent coat um, of the PVA and I found it really easy for the drills to uh, adhere to. It stayed in place, I didn't have sliding around etc etc so this this glue really worked well. So um, the PVA was a really good idea and just having a little bit of buffing yeah it just worked so I was happy with that and it dries really clear and gives a nice shine. If you wanted to, you could reseal this diamond, these diamonds onto the plastic with um, some sort of other uh, sealer that you might use normally on your diamond paintings. You could do that as well, I think, and just paint that over top. But there, this worked really good as a little project. And um, as you'll see at the end, the end results look pretty cool. So I'm going to just continue on with this one, and then I've got one more egg after this to show you of me working on it and yeah we'll go from there
Okay, so this is Little Blue Egg. Um, I'm using some of the same methods I did with the pink one by using the sandpaper just to rough up the surface. And again, I'm going to use that PVA glue because I was finding that really uh, easy to work with and apply to the plastic. So just using a paintbrush, or I'm just, just applying the glue that way. And I'm giving this a really good coat. Now this was a bit of an experiment of mine. I thought I'd give it a go. What would happen if I literally just sprinkled drills onto the egg um, and just pat them on there and see what that sort of effect was? Unfortunately, a lot of the egg, um, even though the egg was well coated, uh, a lot of the drills would sit up different ways. It kind of gave a cool effect in a sense, but I wasn't happy with it. So I end up cleaning off the egg and I went back to just using the Glossy Essence you can still use the PVA glue in this um, design. It's the same uh, application as previous egg, the little pink one. But instead I'm using the rhinestones to give it just a different finish. And I'm just going to space this one out just a little bit more with the rhinestones just to sort of uh, see a bit more of the blue coming through. I want some more colour. And yeah. I'm just giving you a slightly different idea of glues, etc. I can work with. I also uh, started using a multi-placer to give that a go. And that actually worked reasonably well in this sort of idea of just covering the egg. Um, yeah, I can manage to put quite a few sections on and then I could push them around if I wanted to mix colours or just separate the drills if they were looking too much like lines with the um, single placer end of my drill pen. So yeah, I continue to cover this one and you'll see the end result at the end of the video. So I think I'm covering pretty much all the little ways I was applicating um, the drills onto the eggs and some of the glues and things I was using, etc. Uh, throughout this sort of experiment of using my spare drills so this is sort of a little project you can try at home hopefully and enjoy doing so enjoy the rest of the video guys Now we've completed our egos. Our little eggies are all done. Aren't they looking cool? Some different designs there. We'll have a look, real close look at them all shortly. So we've got them done now. So we need to concentrate is the base. Now I'm just using these toilet rolls or dunny rolls, whatever you like to call what we do around here. Um, so we're using these to make a nice little decorative base for our eggs to sit on. You can say you can use other things. You might have some napkin rings or something like that you prefer to use. But I'm just doing this something that you can find around the house really as cheap as possible type craft. All right, so the little eggs sit pretty much perfectly. I'm trying to get the angle right. Yeah, so your eggs sit on them quite well for the size. So that's why I've chosen these guys, but you can use anything else you have in your craft box or craft room or around the house. Okay, so the toilet roll, and I'm going to pick out some materials to cover the toilet roll. And in this case, I'm using some of my wool. And I've got some really cool fluffy stuff here, so I'm going to use some of that, that's for sure. It looks like a little rabbit. And I've got some eight ply sparkly stuff, and I'm going to use some of that as well. And I might just have another color as well. So, yeah, I'm just going to use some of those. So, 
that I'll take them out of that tub and of course I will need some scissors to cut them and I'm going to apply with a hot glue gun just on the ends and as I'm wrapping around so basically the idea of this is I'm going to cut them in sections and you can do in thirds or halves or you can just leave it as it is and have a very tall egg stand it's up to you um, I'm thinking I'm going to go basically in half and cut mine that way you can use scissors or exacto knives or whatever else you like but yeah so where wherever you like your egg to sit as high as you can cut so if you just want just a very skinny little stand just so it won't roll away you could do that as well so that is really up to you as far as measurement of height of your stand as I said I'm not too fast I wouldn't mind if they were all different sizes to be honest so I'm going with about center and pop there they go so once you've cut them in half you can just give them a little old trim if you feel you're not gone very straight which I haven't just to make it look tidy really and use this end that's already nice and flush for your bottom so you know it's going to sit on the table or bench or wherever you like to put your eggs and use this bit slightly jagged side um, to sit your egg in because they will still sit quite fine like that and um, where that might be a bit wonk on the table this end will be fine so we've got our little base we'll call it a base trimmed at the moment so we're going to come down here and we're going to just apply some of the wool in this case I've got some nice fluffy wool you can use whatever you've got around the house to decorate this with honestly um, you can use ribbons you could use lace you can use anything you have around your home that you feel would work in the similar way so basically I've got a bit of off cut here that I already had from previous attempts of things we'll just put it that way and uh, yeah so I'm going to just apply this to the tube and wrap it around so the first part is hopefully my hot glue gun is nice and warm and I'm just going to put a dab of glue there to get me started and simply apply that as such being careful not to burn fingers and then I should be able to just do another one on the other side just to keep it sitting still you shouldn't need to do too many blobs pulling that firm and into place so that in this case my fluffies will stick out I'll just reattach again to the top there but just a little bit lower than where I was yes, if I can and then I will just bup, I will just go along the same edge of the top as close as I can and I will just wind that through like so and every now and again if you feel you want to just um, make this more attached to your tube you can just add another little dollop of, from your hot glue gun and just continue wrapping as such you really shouldn't I don't think you'd really need to do too many blobs but I'm just making sure just keeping tension keeping that pushed up 
so I don't have any gaps and once I come near to the bottom I will reattach it again with some glue a little blob there nice little line of it pulling tight and down across the glue attaching my end there and I might do just another little bit further around just to there so probably at least two blobs just to finish it off if you feel you want to make sure it's on there nice and firm and voila so that's pretty much all that is and then all you do is you trim off your excess uh, wool slash whatever you are using and there you have it one fluffy rabbited stand and there you go and now all you have to do is an egg that this doesn't want to cooperate I don't know why I picked you there we go and there you have it egg upon nest <laughs> so I'll just take you down and have a bit better look at that one just zoom right down here wind the squeakies and there we have it so you have your little eggs on your little stands and once you get a few of them you can line them all up and if you want to we can add um, a little embossed little letter and you can spell out the word Easter on the bows of these and things like that as well so I kind of think he's cute like that he sits really well he's just sitting on there um, but you could glue that in if you wanted to and make it more of a permanent fixture I'm just going with them loose at the moment but yeah that's them so far I'm going to continue on and do a couple more and then I'll show you some more the lovely finished eggs and their little stands as well
Well, here you are, guys. This is the finished little eggs. They have all been decorated differently. And yeah, you can do them however you like. We have added some different big and small uh, drills onto these ones from our leftovers of our diamond paintings. So this is one idea, especially for this time of the year, that I thought would be kind of cool. And yeah, so just to decorate some eggs with our leftover drills. They look really nice and sparkly and shiny and they look really pretty. And yeah, they're just different, nice little decoration you can put in your window or up on your mantelpiece and you could use these as part of your Easter egg hunt and just making it just a little bit special and that or it's just a fun a little activity to get involved with the kids or the grandkids and just having a bit of Easter fun together, a bit of family time. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so I finished off some more little stands. I really like this fluffy stuff that I found. I was thinking when I was doing this, you could use some nice thick twine or something as well. It would look really cool. I didn't have any, but um, I was thinking that would also look really awesome. So I really like this fluffy one, so I did a few more of those. And I did a really tall one just because I could add that as height and whatnot to um, my display. And some of the smaller ones that I was using, some of the little fine eight ply uh, wool. I ended up using some of the stickers out of that little kit and just applying them on there. Uh, I was thinking about making some letters and spelling the word Easter on them, which you can also do. But I kind of liked these little stickers and I thought they're kind of cute. So I just added that on there as such, especially with my sprinkle egg. Hundreds and thousand egg, yum. <laughs> Not this one though. I think they turned out really cool. I'm really happy with what happened. I was, it was a fun experiment to do with all the drills, etc. I've used um, irregular drills here, uh, some of the rhinestone ones on there, and lots of big ones as well, just to see how they all go. Um, I end up using a lot more of that glossy essence throughout even though this came up really good with the PVA, I think that worked out really well. I ended up going back with the glossy essence just on the grounds that the applicator was nice and fine for these sort of things. And yeah, it just, I don't know, it was sticking well once it had a little bit of time to dry and it did be, it was a bit forgiving, you know, to, for when you want to place things. So they have turned out really cool. And I'm going to, Maybe set these up outside and show you guys some bit of footage of those as well, just to see how they sparkle outside and things like that. Um, it's just inside and it's not really best lighting in the world in here. But you can see they're kind of cute, different designs. You can do whatever you like. Um, you can say, you can just use some of your bigger ones. I just left this one as it is because I kind of liked it like that. I don't know why, it's just different to the other ones. This is another pattern. I said you can just do whatever you like. Yeah. So there you go. And this one here, does it see these ones? Just got some stars. And because they've got the coloured plastic, you, you could paint these if you just had plain ones. You could even use real eggs if you wanted to do it that way as well. If you're like me and you've got lots of chookies, that was also another option I was looking at doing. And actually um, you could use food dye, etc., and do the whole thing that way and then add your drills. So however you want to use your base, I've just chosen to use these little plastic ones out of that little um, Easter egg hunt kit that I got from Kmart. I'm still waiting on the, my eggs I ordered from eBay and they still haven't turned up. So I'm really glad I was able to grab that kit and do this little project now, because time is, you know, ticking along and I wanted to get this video out before Easter. So give you guys a chance to look at the project and maybe have a chance to do it yourself. And because you can grab that little pack from your Kmart, if hopefully you've got one nearby or um, another craft store type thing. So yeah, I'm still waiting. Uh, when they, they do come through the eBay eggs, I can probably just do some more if I want to. But we'll see how we go. It might just be part of the Easter egg hunt. We'll see what happens. Anyway, um, 
yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thoughts and pros and cons. PVA glue works fine if you've got it. If you've got other adhesives, give them a go and see, see how they work. I tried out a few things. The Alma glue was a bust. That was completely no good. I end up not using the Alma glue at all because I put it on and even once it dried, it just, the, the, the drills just slid off. So the Alma glue was a bust. Um, so we won't, we won't be working with that on the plastic again. And I just used a little bit of sandpaper to rough them up and that helped when I was doing things like this, a full cover. And you can't see it's being roughed or anything, so it looks pretty cool. You could also, I think, paint these with a gloss sealer or something like that just to help keep your drills in place. And it also should give a nice um, glossy shine to your eggs. So that's probably a few other ideas, um, thoughts and pros and cons, I suppose, of this project so far. But I am really happy with them. They look really awesome. I love that fluffy stuff. I think it's a fun project. You can have so many different designs. So yeah. Have a great Easter everybody. I hope you have a lot of fun and time with family and, and really enjoy your day if you can. Um, yeah, and don't eat too much chocolate or do, but hopefully you don't get sick. <laughs> so yeah, check them all out guys. Have fun with your diamond painting. I'll see you in another video soon. I'm going to take these little guys outside and see what they look like out in the world. And I'd just like to have take this chance to thank all my viewers and subscribers. Um, I hope you're really enjoying my videos. This one is a little bit different to the diamond painting, so I do hope you enjoyed that as well, just for something else on the channel. And I wanted to do something using up all my spare drills. And I think this is one of the really fun projects you can do. So yeah. Um, if you like the video give us a thumbs up and yeah maybe a comment and just any questions chuck them in the comments as well and i'll do my best to answer those and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already that would be awesome and yeah hope you enjoyed the video uh, i'll see you soon hit that bell for the notification when i upload next and be your life beautiful diamond up this is dale signing out have a wonderful day guys and happy easter bye for now